appreciate your yielding, too. Uh, I did have the opportunity to chair uh, from 98 to 2000 the Criminal Justice Drug Policy Committee, which was eliminated uh, during the last uh, Congress. Uh, um, unfortunately, the other side of the aisle hasn't paid much attention to uh, this issue. I think Mr. Kucinich was the chair of that of the subcommittee. I guess it was dis domestic. <coughs> it got bounced to uh, dom domestic policy. Uh, lack of attention um, by this committee is not acceptable. I appreciate the uh, new chair starting this, and th this should only be the beginning. We need to haul in uh, Homeland Security, the ICE people, the CIA, FBI, um, the one of the last appointments in this administration is a drug czar, uh, and we need the drug, a, a drug czar appointed and confirmed. We need a full court press, because our neighbor to the south is about to lose its sovereignty. Uh, when I went down there, I went under heavy police guard as the chairman met in Mexico City, and I gave a, a, a speech to some of them, and I said, you're losing, your, you're gonna lose your damn country. I used that expression was behind closed doors. I was briefed by the CIA, I was briefed by the FBI and others before I got there. The level of corruption from the cop on the street to the president's office. And you hit it on the head. Uh, it, you, you have to, Mr. Braun, uh, the, play, the place has been corrupt and they're paying for it. You've got to have, Mr. Diaz said, the rule of, of law. Uh, and we've got to provide our friends to the south, our neighbor and neighbors, and we have millions of incredible Mexican Americans. I have uh, some in my family who are uh, just disgusted with what's going on, going on. And it's not just about guns, you know. They and and they've tried to do some things, but we've got to get them the resources to do this. Columbia lost control. We put Plan Columbia in. We gave them the resources. Work with Pastrana. He sang Kumbaya and uh, danced around. <coughs> Uribe came in and was tough. They killed thousands, just like they're killing in Mexico. But we've got to help them regain control with a plan and a policy of that country. Uh, it's totally out of control. It is a slaughterhouse and it's on our borders and it's spilling into our, our cities. So uh, I'm hoping this president, I, 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 I again applaud you, but I want another hearing and I want those people in that are gonna run these programs and a plan to, to help the Mexicans regain control of that country. Uh, and it's not just to get about guns. And I've been with the gun route folks uh, uh, I'm telling you that the world is a, that Mexico's borders are a sieve and if they don't get them from the United States and it's not that we don't need enforcement we shouldn't have export or transport of, of weapons uh, but uh, we, we uh, you can't just control it on that part of its education uh, of the of people in the United States cut down the demand the talk of legalization and the Soroses and people uh, the biggest the biggest trans Trafficking is still um, is still marijuana, isn't that true, uh, Ron? Okay, it's, it's the most, yes. and the rest it's the of it's drug. transit. They don't produce any uh, uh, cocaine in Mexico that I know of. That there is an increase in heroin, uh, Mexican, but that's that's market, U.S. market based. So we've got to uh, have a better education program to stop the uh, the demand. Um, everybody agrees with that. Just yes for the record. Yep. Uh, yes. See the nod. But Mexico is turning in is turning into a narco uh, state, and it's got it. We have got to have in place uh, zero tolerances. Let me take, give you an example about enforcement. If they don't do it in Mexico and we don't do it, tough enforcement of existing laws, and if we need other laws, uh, what happens? I dare you to go out here to First and C Street, right by, near the metro stop, I think it's First and C, and jaywalk when Officer Thompson's there. Have you ever seen Officer Thompson? He'll write you a damn ticket. He'll, he, will, he will hold you accountable, so nobody, when he's there, violates the law. Rudy Giuliani worked with him. At, New York City is still a safe venue because of zero tolerance. So we've got to... 
we have got to uh, do everything we can to work with the, the Mexican officials. Uh, they, they have taken some steps, and I applaud them. They put the military there. And these pigs that would slaughter the military, I don't know if you, you read this story about a month ago. They killed seven of the military, and then they didn't use a gun. They used a knife to decapitate them. They put their heads in plastic uh, bags, uh, uh, clear plastic bags, and dumped them in a mall to set an example for others who cooperated uh, what they would do. These are, are the lowest scum of the earth, and they are, they're, kill, they're letting the drugs that come in and kill our people on our streets. So we've got to have a plan. Mr. Chairman, I, I request uh, our side will send you a letter this week. You're late. If you had been here at the beginning of the hearing, yeah. you would have heard that we've got okay. these things already planned. Uh, right. Again, Thanks. to, to uh, bring in whoever it takes, but we don't have a plan, to develop a plan and to follow through with that plan. I haven't seen the President's uh, budget and his items, but we'll work with him. Uh, and uh, work with whoever. I appreciate you all coming in today, and I uh, appreciate again the chairman beginning the highlighting this, taking this back under control. I don't think I, I remember one single hearing there uh, on this issue during the last two years, but it's time we get engaged, and again, I applaud you for doing that, and we'll work with you. Yield back. Thank you very much. Mr. Fortenberry, now you're recognized for five minutes.